Okay, 10 minutes started on my cracked phone. It also doesn't make any noise anymore, so if I go over, you know why. Um, but today I'm going to be doing the strip down challenge, which was started by Jonah Green here on YouTube, and it's basically a tag where you just talk for 10 minutes, no edits, no cuts, no background music, and no script. You just you just talk to the camera, and it was kind of a response to the Asina O'Neill quitting social media thing, which I'm sure, you know, everybody is sick of hearing by now. Um, I know I'm certainly sick of talking about it, but, you know, I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, and I'm going to just touch on it really quickly. Basically, Asina and I are from the same local area. We, um, she goes to a high school that was really close to mine. We had a bunch of mutual friends and she kind of just like grew up in the same area as I did. So when the whole thing blew up, it was a really, really big deal and it was all anybody could talk about. And even like some of my friends were really upset because, you know, she kind of left high school and nobody ever heard from her again. And then you see this and she's literally on the news and it's crazy. Um, and basically we just don't get out much. Um, and we, you know, not a lot happens here. So when it did happen, it was all anybody could talk about. So I'm not going to like say how I feel about it because I feel like other people have said it really beautifully and eloquently. And I probably won't be able to do that today. I did write a Facebook post about it though, if you want to go and look at that. Um, it's on my Facebook page, but I'm just going to seize the opportunity to talk to you about nothing. Um, so, start from the beginning. I'm 18. Um, I am recent. I'm new here on YouTube. And I came from fashion blogging and I had a fashion blog for five years. Um, and then I kind of moved over here because I wanted a more personal platform and I feel like YouTube is perfect for that because there's something to be said about like seeing a person talk, seeing their mannerisms and hearing them speak with their voices. It's just so much more personal than like taking a couple of photos and writing a little caption and buzzing off for the next two days. Um, and yeah, I really like YouTube because I feel like it's the rise of people being appreciated for just being themselves. Well, you know, like, it's not like we're not talented or anything, but people just being followed and supported just because, you know, people like hearing them talk. And honestly, there are some people on here and I could just watch a 30 minute video of them doing nothing and love it because I could just listen to them talk for hours. Excuse me. Um, and I, I think it's kind of like the Kardashian complex as well. Like as much as people say that they're totally talentless, I'm invested in their lives. I want to hear them talk and I'm interested and I think good on them. And I guess the whole fashion and beauty blogging thing was kind of seen as a very shallow concept. And I learned after a while that it kind of was, um, you know, after five years of just taking photos of myself, it gets a little bit old and I met heaps of people who thought that they were better than me or than other people in general because they had more followers or they were prettier. And I guess that's where social media can be really, really damaging because if you, val if you are basing your self-worth off, you know, Instagram likes or facetuned photos or three minute videos then you're not going to be a happy person and I am very much the type of person that likes to feel purposeful and useful and I always have a million and one thoughts running around my head so it just got a little bit old and it got to the point where I didn't want to answer my emails. I didn't want to put on a dress and go and take photos. And I didn't want to reblog pretty photos and I didn't want to set up my room to take an Instagram pic. I didn't want to do any of it. Um, 
and I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I definitely had that feeling after I finished high school as well because I took a gap year and I think there's nothing scarier than being told what to do for 12 years <laughs> and then just being let off your leash and just go be an adult like deal with it figure your life out good luck um, so I kind of just like floated around part-time jobs um, and I was really really unhappy I'm not gonna lie I found it really hard to hold down a job just because I would get bored and I didn't want to be there and I just can't do things that I don't really want to do I mean I, I could if I wanted to but I find it really difficult to spend six hours a day somewhere that I don't want to be so I found myself wishing that I could be somewhere else for most of this year um, and I've recently kind of come into my own and I just do whatever I want to do really and I try not to think too hard about whether it's going to get likes, whether it's going to get attention, whether it's going to make me famous, like not that that was ever my goal but really I just have my social media as an extension of me really and I think that's the most organic way to do it and I think that's the best way in my opinion and being on here for five years um I've you know like from 12 to 18 those are the biggest growing years I, in my opinion of your life and people will say things to me like oh you've changed and it's like well no shit of course <laughs> I mean who's not going to change over five years and I have watched other people grow up on the internet as well like bigger youtubers and I think it's a really beautiful thing to see people evolve like that, to see people change. I think that it's awesome and I think that I feel so connected to people who are halfway across the world. It's insane to me and I've made so many awesome friends and basically I'm just a huge advocate for social media. Um, I have some notes here because honestly I'm just gonna... Okay, my camera died but I paused the timer and... I, you know, it still, it, it still counts, alright? So we're going to just resume this. Um, back to purposefulness. I kind of used to think that ignorance was bliss. And if I didn't know something, then it wasn't my problem. And then I was on the internet more. And I think that when you see news and when people are talking about things that are happening... For example, the Paris attacks, as much as I don't want to like go into detail about that, it's kind of a good example. Um, it kind of forces you to not be ignorant, and ignorance isn't bliss. I think that knowledge is power, and knowing things and being informed about things is so incredible. And the fact that, you know, it's, it's really sad, but you're invested in what's happening in other parts of the world is really cool, and I feel like we're at a, a point, I mean, I watched um, Megan Hughes's video and she said the same thing, but we're very much at a point where we could make a huge change and change everything that's happening or everything could kind of go to shit, essentially. And I, I guess I wanted to use social media, I wanted to use the resources that like, I'm so very lucky to have for more than just taking photos of myself um yeah i mean i still like fashion blogging i still like talking about makeup but i want more i crave more and i feel like with what i have i have amazing far out that's the timer Um, so I know I stumbled a lot during this video and it wasn't exactly ideal, but it's me and I'm not very experienced with talking to the camera yet, but I did it and I think I said what I wanted to say. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.